Guys, what's going on? It's Gary. I'm uh, out here with something new that I wanted to share with you today. Uh, something I've never done, never been into. Uh, another injector pump, as a matter of fact. And it's not a multi-fuel pump, and it's not a P-pump. So, with no fur without further ado, yeah, if I can speak correctly, check this out. This is a VE pump from an old Cummins. Um, this is off of one of my cousin's trucks. It uh, was leaking on him. And he asked me if I could try to reseal it or whatnot, if, if he could get a seal kit. I told him, sure, you know, I've never done one, but, uh, you know, get it and get the parts coming. I'll see what I can do. So I've got it pulled apart here. And uh, I kind of wanted to show you some of the guts of this thing. Because um, if you go to do the same thing, you may pull it apart and drop shit everywhere like I did. So um, the VE is a rotary pump. Uh, it distributes full fuel by turning a piston. This is your rotor. So your rotor sits down in here. If you see that slot there, it locates itself on that pin up there in the corner. Um, it rides on that right there in that little hole. And uh, pretty sure maybe fuel goes through there. I don't know. I'm not an injector pump or, well, VE pump uh, expert rebuilder person. So, um, I went to put that back in there. See, when I lifted the back plate off, this sucker right here, to replace this O-ring, um, I picked it up and it, the piston stayed stuck in it, or the rotor stayed stuck in it, and it came up and it pulled all that shit apart and it all fell in there. So, um, I've got to get this back together, which is not going to be a huge deal. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of walk you guys through it. So you know, as long as I'm doing it, maybe, uh, you can find this video on YouTube and save yourself a little bit of trouble beforehand. Uh, like if I'd taken that center plug out and put a dowel in there and, and picked up on it with the dowel stuck in there or screwdriver, even it would have held the, uh, the rotor down and, uh, uh, it wouldn't have pulled all that shit up and apart. So lesson learned. Um, the problem with just sticking this back in and getting it down in there is, um, and I've already found this out, that thing is not a pilot. It's just a wear bushing. So it, yeah, it moves. And it sits on top of um, an actual pilot. And if you look at that, uh, if it'll focus, I think it has a step on it. Let me see. Yeah, it does. It does have a step on it. So, I'm not sure that's extremely significant, but uh, the way you want to put this back together is uh, put a little bit of grease on it. And I, I use, you can use whatever kind of grease you want, um, even assembly lube or what, you know, white lithium grease, whatever. Something that diesel fuel will dissolve. Um, I found out over the years that diesel fuel dissolves red axle grease, number two grease, pretty well. So just a tiny little bit on the part. And then take your piston, plunger, rotor, set it on there. And uh, it stays. So then you can come over here. And if I can work the camera and do this at the same time, you can... Put it together and it falls right in place so now that you got that in there this piece goes next and if you look at it it's got two bushings underneath it and these are um, lubricated by fuel okay so well this pump is not in the best shape it's got a bunch of rust residue in it, and I'm sure his tank is pretty nasty and he probably doesn't change his fuel filter like he should so um, anyway, I'm just trying to get the damn thing to stop leaking. Otherwise, I don't care. I'm not charging him. He's a family. I'm doing it free of charge, so um, the rest is up to him. Um, so let's see. This wear mark right here, it sits on top of this, I think. No, it's the other way around. Um, that actually sits directly on top of that plunger, so... This, uh, 
a little bit of grease. Not too much, okay? You don't want to gum a bunch of shit up. And then this one, a little bit of grease on both sides. I'm going to put that together and then I'm going to wipe this off and we're going to stick that to it. So now all three parts are stuck together. And turn it up and make sure it's not just going to fall apart in two seconds. So now we're going to put this on there. Okay, now here's the tricky part. Getting it leaned up and down past that, I think. Mm, shit, I can't remember. Yeah, I think this goes, um, this goes down below it. So, and it's not wanting to cooperate. Yeah, normally you would probably take this arm out, this lever out, get it out of the way. Um, but whatever. So I know that fell off at the bottom. Well, maybe not. I can't turn it, so it must still be locked in. All right. So once you do that, this part has to go in. Um, and as you can probably tell, uh, that is supposed to lock in that hole right there to the thing, the tit, mm, titties. Mm. Um, anyway, I'm having a really hard time with this. And now I'm, I've lost my confidence in memory from 20 minutes ago, and I'm, I can't remember whether that piece under there goes above this or below this so I may actually have to look that up um, and I know like these springs sit on either side of that and these uh, dowels up here go in these holes so it would be just like that on either side and then these two smaller springs go up here in these cavities and what those do is they sit against these pads on the back of that arm. So um, that shouldn't be a big deal getting all that back together. You know, just grease a little bit of it up, keep it all together, stuff it in there. Um, now to do that, these will probably have to sit down in here. And, um, ugh, heartburn. I hate that shit. So those will sit in there. And, um, you can hold these in with a little bit of grease because they're not going to sit on the flat of that and just stay there while you're putting it together. It ain't, hap it ain't happening. Um, probably grease these up to hold them in place a little bit. And, uh, if you can get them in their pilot holes on that plate even better now obviously I've still got to get this engaged I'm just showing you this because I, I want to uh, I want to look that up and, and be sure before I put this thing back together uh, anyway I'm resealing the whole thing I've got it I've actually got a Bosch uh, seal kit so um, I, I got to take every little piece apart and do all this properly because uh, I have a reputation to keep, especially with family. So, um, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of this stuff, because it's not, uh, this is not something I do, like, with these pumps anyway. I, I do this with other injector pumps, but uh, chances are I will never do this with a VE pump again, because uh, I have no intention of running a VE pump on anything. So, uh... 4k 3k 4k governor actually yeah he told me it was a 3200 so i trust him he ordered it whatever i'm putting it in um there are plenty of videos on youtube showing you how to put a governor spring in a ve pump so 
I'm not going to hang around and waste your time showing you that or any of the other stuff. Um, but if you have any questions, you know, post them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Like I, I said, and I'll reiterate again, I am not an expert on this injector pump. Um, if somehow I end up doing this on a regular basis, then I'll probably be able to tell you just about anything about the inside of these. That's how I do things. I learn things by actually doing them. Uh, and I do that because I take on projects that I have to do. So, um, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Um, if not, you probably were asleep. And I will see you guys on the next one. Later.